Hello, welcome. In this video, I'm going to be flipping through some books and other types of products like that about the WWF in the mid 80s. So, admittedly, it's not the most exciting video, but if you enjoyed wrestling in the 80s, you may get a kick out of some of these things. Now, first off is Hulkamania, the official biography of Hulk Hogan, but it's not all about Hulk Hogan. So, I'm just gonna flip through so you can see the pictures. I'm not gonna read the book. That would <laughs> take way too long, but I'll highlight a few things. So, what's odd is they do show other characters completely, like with Hogan not even on the page at all. Now this one just says, you know, no one wears the belt quite like Hulk Hogan. But then you get two pages of the Iron Sheik, which I guess maybe he was the champion before Hulk Hogan. I don't recall. But maybe that's why they're highlighting him here, because he's going to take the belt from him. And of course he says, I'm no friend of America. <laughs> it's all kind of silly. And the Hulk is proud to be an American. See, they kind of gone back and forth, like Harry says, I'll make him eat those words. So it's kind of just setting up a big match. So then here, he's fighting Mr. Fuji. Now this is interesting here. They don't tell you where he is, but he's going to an autograph session and they show him set up here, which I think is must be at a Toys R Us. But they're not in the wrestling toy aisle. They're in, um, you can see in the background, <laughs> these are like toddler type toys. Or maybe, you know, four or five year olds. Like a CNC, a farmer says. <laughs> a little airport. And you can see it's this big toy aisle, so I don't know what else it would have been other than a Toys R Us. Wrestling was quite a big spectacle. I don't really follow it today, but from the images and things I notice, and it doesn't look as colorful. Like here you have Mr. T joining Hulk Hogan in the ring. These two also appeared in Rocky III. You also see at some point Muhammad Ali as a ref. Yeah, here he is right here. I mean, everybody joined in on wrestling. It was, it's just a big deal. I, I know they still have guests appear on but I don't know, it just seemed everything I guess seems more uh, fun in the 80s to me just because that's when I was younger I'm a big fan of Mr. T as well so this is at uh, Madison Square Garden it looks like there's another picture of Muhammad Ali there's a lot of this should have mentioned he was fighting a uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper. And just a picture of him with some guys here. His fans. He wear glasses quite a bit. And so I don't know who this weird thing is. I don't know. It just says he's an animal lover as well. I don't know, it's just some guy dressed up as something. It's talking about Brutus Beefcake, but I don't know. I guess because he's next. So this is all highlighting a match with Brutus Beefcake. My memory's not good enough to remember all these big matches. But I watched a lot of it. I watched, you know, every Saturday. It was an hour-long program of wrestling, and then... 1985 and 86. There's also a cartoon which I'll, I'll get to. I have something on that. This is the magnificent one. 
I don't remember every wrestler either. I guess the guys that are more just their names or didn't wear any special outfits <laughs> aren't as easy to remember, but see they also made a, a book for Rowdy Roddy Piper and Andre the Giant. Oh. Next up is a postcard book. Of course, Hulk Hogan's always <laughs> he's on the front of everything. He was the big name in the WWF back then. Probably he became rather famous for not that he's a good actor or a great actor, but he's in a lot of things. He had his own TV show called Thunder in Paradise that I watched as well. Alright, so these are all postcards. The names are on the back of the postcard. And I don't remember everyone's name. And of course, some guys are very recognizable, like uh Andre the Giant and Captain Lou Albino. I guess my blog's also in this channel about video games. Many may remember Captain Lou from um, Nintendo's Super Bro Super Mario Brothers Super Show, I believe it was. Captain Lou appeared in that. He played Mario. And these are the backs of the postcards, of course. Um, a lot of other guys. There's Hulk Hogan and the Iron Sheik. These other people, I don't really know offhand. Uh, Ric Flair is obvious too, but I was looking at them earlier. But like this group, I don't remember them at all. That's the Fabulous Freebirds. Yeah, I don't remember all these people. They're nice postcards. I didn't rip any out of the book. There's Junkyard Dog. He was one of my favorites in Tito Santana. They um, did some tag teams together. And of course, Rowdy Rowdy Piper has the bagpipes. But I don't know who everyone else is. Even looking at their name, well, I have heard of Dusty Rhodes. But but yeah, Air Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah. Got his own G.I. Joe figure. I've got a couple of those. He looks kind of ridiculous in this outfit, though. Much better than the G.I. Joe figure. I think he got an upgraded outfit much later. And then Superfly Snooka. And I don't really know who everyone is. <laughs> Actually, they're all listed right here. He did look familiar. That is Jesse the Body Ventura. Looks a bit different from the uh, outfit he'd wear later. Some interesting glasses. <laughs> Alright, next up is the item related to the cartoon. It was called Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling. So, it's a cartoon with a bunch of the, uh, the most well known wrestlers from the in the time period so it wasn't just Hulk Hogan and you know I only have some of the stickers but if you didn't have the stickers you could use this decoder to actually look at what the image is so you could read the whole book and follow if you didn't have the stickers yeah I don't obviously don't have a lot of the stickers there's also Quotes going on here it says, The Hulk will make mince meat out of you, Sheik. Camel stew I make from you, Hogan. <laughs> Got more of the rivalry going on. Yeah, here's a wrestling riddle. What would a baby baby wrestling fan wear? A rowdy roddy diaper. Alright. <laughs> So, I did watch the cartoon. It only ran for two seasons. I'll just flip through this kind of fast. But, although they, the wrestlers appeared in the show, they didn't actually do the voices. They hired actual voice actors, professionals, to do that. But wrestling got 
really big in the 80s. And I mean, it's still around today, so it's big, but I don't know. The 80s was just <laughs> great for all kinds of things, and I, I was really into it. Now, I stopped watching it as I got probably into more realistic sports, well, professional sports like baseball and football, but I have a childhood friend who still follows it. I don't talk to him too often. I don't live anywhere near him. But I'll mention him again in, at the end of the video when I have one more, one, uh, I don't know, I guess a special thing to show. So, I, I always like these sticker albums. I don't know why, but I guess as part of the collectability, you could buy packs of stickers and, you know, hope you get what you need. Usually, once you, you could order the individual stickers too, but, you know, I'd wait till, at least for the baseball ones, until I was close to full and then just pick out the ones I needed and order them. So you can see, before I pull this away, it's what they look like on the cartoon. Not sure I can name everybody, maybe. Except for I don't remember who the female was. But there were other females. I think, um... You'll see one in the next item in the calendar I have. Wendy something. I think she was with the good side. Mean Jean. You know, Nikolai Iron Sheik. Roddy Piper. I don't recall who she is. Mr. Fuji. Captain Lou. I think that's Andre the Giant. Tito Santana. Junkyard Dog and Hillbilly Jim. Of course, Hulk Hogan. But yeah, I don't know if this is every character, because I thought the Wendy woman hung around with them as well, but for two seasons, it was only like 20-something episodes. So, yeah, like I said, a calendar I have here. Now, this is quite large. If I can get the whole half, the top half, which is the important half, in frame. I didn't write in this at all, I don't think, so it's pretty much mint condition. It's from 1986. Oh, never mind, I did write on January. I didn't realize that. Alright, getting a little bit of glare. Here we go. So, this is Andre the Giant. Actually, I didn't write in this. This is my sister's handwriting. She likes to write on things. So she wanted to write her own birthday in here. And Junkyard Dog, who unfortunately did pass away in a car accident 20 years ago. A lot of these guys, unfortunately, have passed away. Well, at least a handful of the well-known guys. This one's Iron Sheik. Mr. Fuji. Nikolai. Their manager, Freddy Blasi. And the Iron Sheik. Yeah, January's the only one that has all that writing on it because of my sister. And Roddy Roddy Piper also passed away a few years ago. He had a heart condition. Jimmy Superfly Snooker. Captain Lou Albano, who I believe also passed away. I don't recall when. Yeah, here's Wendy Richter. I think she hung around with the, the good guys in the cartoon. The Magnificent Morocco. Mike Rotundo and Barry Windham. I'm going to have to assume they were a tag team match or a tag team group. And here's Big John Studd and Andre the Giant, the two big guys. They were both in the cartoon as well. So yeah, Big John Studd wasn't in that picture either, I don't think. No, he wasn't. So yeah, that picture didn't have everybody. All right, two more items. This is a great item. This is the wrestling album. Unfortunately, I don't have a record player, so I can't play any for you. But it's the wrestlers singing songs. <laughs> it has some great artwork on it too. Let's see if I can get the whole thing here. And you know, that doesn't quite fit, but it's a one big picture. So, I don't know. I'll check the inside to see it. what it says as far as songs. Yeah, here they are. Yeah, we 
just kind of go from one end to the other. Just like an in-studio picture. So we've got Don't Go Messing With a Country Boy by Hillbilly Jim. Kara Mia by Nikolai Volkov. Tutti Fruity with Mean Jean Okerlund. Land of a Thousand Dances. Just says the wrestlers, so I'll assume a bunch of them did that. Grab Them Cakes by Junkyard Dog. Eat Your Heart Out, Rick Springfield by Jimmy Hart. Real American by Derringer. And then it has Wyndham and Rotundo's theme in parentheses. Those are the guys in the calendar. For Everybody by Rowdy Roddy Piper. Captain Lou's History of Music course is Captain Lou Albano. Hulk Hogan's theme says the WWF All-Stars. And I guess that is it. Pull the record out. Not that there's anything on it, I don't think. Just a record album. Oh. It's by Epic. Double-sided. I think all records are. Alright. So, last item is an autograph I got from Razor Ramon. As I mentioned, I stopped following wrestling in the late 80s. I think Razor Ramon was more of an early 90s guy. But, this is my friend who I mentioned before. This is his favorite wrestler, so I went with him to the East Coast National. It's mostly a sports car trade show in New York. But Razor Ramon was there and Bam Bam Bigelow. We only got Razor Ramon's autograph though. So he put to John, which is, who's obviously me. I think this says the bad guy. Razor Ramon. I believe that's what he refers to himself as. So that is it. I will have a blog post, which will be linked in the description of this video. And it's combined with the other wrestling video I'm doing today as well, the toy video. So, check that out if you'd like, and thanks for watching.